Hi everyone, it's Warren coming to you from the Northern Light factory in Kelowna, British Columbia. Just want to do a quick video on what to do with your truck when you are getting prepared to put your camper on it. Okay, so a couple of things that you are going to need. Uh, of course, you need a 3 8 rubber mat in the back of your truck. Uh, this is the mat that we recommend. You don't want to use a horse mat. They are too rigid. They don't give a nice grip for the camper to, to grab onto when you're traveling down the road. So 3 8 rubber mat. And then also on this one here, you can see that we have a sheet of plywood. We've got a one inch sheet of plywood on this one just to give a little bit more height to get the overhang or the bunk area of the trailer, sorry, of the camper over top of the cab. You need about two, minimum two inches of clearance over top of the cab to give clearance. Three inches is obviously better, okay? So you determine that, make sure that you have enough height. Um, one inch sheet of plywood in this one here. You may want to put an extra little bit of a lift on it. Sometimes an extra sheet of maybe half inch plywood or a quarter inch. Just whatever it's going to need. Use the plywood. Don't use styrofoam. Use plywood. It gives you a nice solid base to sit the camper on. You want to have a power cord connection that attaches the uh, power to the camper from the truck. Makes all the lights work. Okay. This one is located in this position. Some trucks come with a plug already wired into the back of the truck or you and if they don't you're going to have to get something wired in uh, can be done in this section here or it can be done in a section up just behind the cab on the left up here what this does is it allows you to keep your power connection on the back of your bumper free for if you want to pull a trailer these are all important things to make sure that you are completely set up we have this truck here lined with a little bit of uh, carpeting here in this section on the inside of the fender wells just to give a little bit more protection we're using these trucks all the time putting the cameras off and on constantly um, you may want to do the same I'm going to do the same on my own personal truck another little thing your license plate if you require if the province you live in requires you to have your license plate on the back of your camper Take it off before you put the camper on the back of the truck. It'll make it much easier for you. 